This is Dr. Brendan Cronin from the Queensland Eye Institute. This video demonstrates collagen cross-linking, which is used for keratoconus to halt progression of the disease. I use the Avedro KXL cross-linking machine. Avedro have really been recognized around the world as leaders in the science of cross-linking. This is the beam profile of a traditional cross-linker prior to the Avedro KXL machine, which produced an uneven distribution of UV light across the cornea. The Avedro machine, as you can see here, distributes the light very evenly across the cornea, creating a fantastic and even cross-linking reaction. Cross-linking is performed with the patient awake, but the patient's eye numbed so that they don't feel any pain or discomfort. The procedure involves the surface layer of the cornea called the epithelium being removed to enable riboflavin, a type of vitamin B, to soak into the stroma, or the main part of the cornea. This then facilitates a chemical reaction with a specific wavelength of ultraviolet light the chemical reaction creates chemical bonds within the cornea that enormously strengthen the cornea and stop the patient's keratoconus from getting worse. We have a dedicated procedure room for cross-linking and other procedures that's decked out with overhead lights, a surgical microscope, a cross-linker and all of the other equipment we need to make the procedure safe and comfortable for you. There's of course music playing so that you can be distracted while the procedure is performed. This is the speculum being inserted into a patient's eye. Initially, the speculum feels uncomfortable in the eye, but after the patient adjusts after about 20 to 30 seconds, it really isn't too uncomfortable at all. Next, a special type of alcohol is delicately painted onto the surface of the cornea. This makes the removal of the epithelium much easier for both myself and the patient. Here you can see the epithelium being gently wiped off the surface of the cornea. The patient is aware that this is happening, but it really isn't uncomfortable at all. It's a strange sensation, but not unpleasant. Now the riboflavin is applied to the cornea. This is a yellow mixture. That's the natural color of riboflavin. Depending on the protocol that we use, this is left to soak into the cornea for anywhere between 10 and 30 minutes. Once the cornea has an adequate penetration of riboflavin into the stroma, the cross-linking machine is placed over the patient's eye for a period of up to 30 minutes. The patient simply looks up into the machine to see a series of LED lights. It's not unpleasant, it's a little bit boring, but there'll be music playing in the background to keep you occupied. The combination of the riboflavin and the UV light make the cornea fluoresce quite a bright yellow color that can be easily seen by the other people in the room. Most patients will bring a friend or family member with them to sit in the room with them, hold their hand and support them, and obviously also to take them home afterwards. At the end of the procedure, we will put some antibiotic and some anti-inflammatory eye drops on the eye and also a special eye drop that promotes the healing of the corneal epithelium to significantly shorten the period of time that patients are uncomfortable for. You should really expect your eye to be quite painful for approximately two days after the procedure and after that time, you really recover quite quickly. We tend to do this on a Thursday and almost all patients are back at work on a Monday. Your vision may not be perfect for a while afterwards, this may take a few weeks or even longer depending on how severe your keratoconus is. You'll be on drops for a month after the procedure. and You'll generally see us at the Queensland Eye Institute a week after you have it performed so that we can look at the eye and ensure that everything is healing and settling nicely. Cross-linking will occasionally be combined with other procedures to improve the vision in your eye, but is generally just performed by itself. It's an excellent procedure at stopping the progression of keratoconus, which really can be a very nasty disease and enormously impact patients' quality of life and vision.